Hey what's going on YouTube, this is FTV here for FTV Productions of course and today I'm here with a very cool tutorial for you guys. T today we're going to be talking about um, logos so I'm going to be teaching you how to create an inverted letter logo um, that's just a type of a logo um, in which you use like two inverted letters and it looks really cool so we're going to be doing that in Illustrator but you can use Photoshop for doing that uh, I just like Illustrator for these logo stuff a bit more because we have some more control. However, we are not going to be using any specific Illustrator uh, features in this tutorial. So you can go ahead and use Photoshop and achieve the same result. So let's just start over by creating a new document. We create a new document which is uh, let's say 500 by 500 pixels. So we change that to uh, pixels and we change this to 500 by 500 pixels hit ok and we have a new canvas so what we're going to do simply is take our text tool and with the text tool selected um, we are going to type in a letter now it can be any letter you want I'm just going to type in let's say G here for the first time and ok we select the select tool again now let's just resize it a bit holding down shift so that we maintain the proportions so we hold down shift and size it really large well not that large okay so we have that now we can also rotate that a bit so uh, let's just rotate it the other way around uh, this way around okay now we're also going to do it by holding shift so that it rotates at defin definite angles so here we have one of our G's now what we're going to do is uh, duplicate it. So we right click and copy that. So control C and then control V again. So we have two copies. You can also duplicate it by holding down shift or something like that. Yeah. So if you hold down alt you can just duplicate it. Like you select this, hold down alt and drag it out so you can duplicate it. But that's just a way. So you're gonna select the second copy and we're gonna rotate it by 180 degrees. And remember remember if you hold on shift it's going to rotate it by exact degrees. So let's just move it down here. And there you have it. That's one of our logos. Now what you can do to really enhance it is change some colors here. So let's just uh, uh, change the color of this to, let's say, for the sake of this tutorial, let's choose it as a green color. And let's select this one, choose it as a darker green color. So let's take the text tool again and type in O and you're gonna see what I'm gonna do what I'll do is just resize it a bit put it in here and read and resize this Make it smaller just a bit and there you go so what this logo says is go green now I know this might be a little tricky to understand at first, but when you finally finish this logo, it looks really cool. So we can like change this color as well. Let's change it to uh, let's say uh, blue maybe. However, it doesn't match the theme, but I'm still doing it. So there you have it. That's one of our logos. You can always go ahead and give it some drop shadow in Photoshop. You can make it look 3D, and it looks really cool. So let's just try it once again. Uh, let's make another document, and let's say let's try some other letter. So let's just try an F this time. F for FTV Productions, not for something else. Uh, the size is like really big, and the reason I'm using um, clear looking fonts and simple looking fonts is because it's easier to make it that way. When you make one for yourself, you'll understand what I'm still talking about. So, again, we're going to be rotating that, holding down shift so you can rotate it at definitive angles. And this time, when I do it the other way around, I did it this the top one was rotated like this and this time I'm going to take the bottom one to be like this so yeah there are some, there are just a couple of variations that you can do in that so just hold down alt and rotate it I'm sorry duplicate it and then let's just rotate it okay and put it in there so we'll just like both of these in position it just a bit up here and now you can add your own stuffs here so let's just change the colors first so 
Um, let's just take it to be light red this time. Let's just take this to be dark red. Or darker red. Anyways, um, actually it doesn't really matter. Let's just change that to yellow or orange. Yeah. So let's just uh, hold that shift and position it somewhere. Okay. Now let's take our text tool again and type in something else. Let's say, uh... play around with the positioning a bit, I'm just doing it for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not working very hard, but uh, you can work hard and take the positioning of your text very seriously because it has to be taken seriously. If you do not place it in the right position, people might not be able to read it. For example, in this G tutorial, um, people could probably understand stands for Go Green, but furiously fast in here doesn't really make sense, let's just position it there first. So yeah, you can you can you know experiment with that. Let's just try once again. I'm having really fun at this. So let's just try it with an uh, with an S this time. It's, this one's tricky. The previous ones had a sort of a straight line in them, so you can position it according to straight line. S doesn't have a straight line at all. So let's just try something new here. Um, so we can just do it bigger. Hold down Alt, duplicate it, and let's just uh, position it here. So I'm hold up alt and then position it here. Okay, so we look like a continuous S. So let's just change the colors again. Um a blue this time maybe. And this one could be darker blue. Anything you want, you can even make it one single color so it looks like a continuous S. And we can write something sick here. Uh in fact we could write something sick here something let's move this around just a little bit so we can place here and sick yeah that looks really cool this one's a very good idea so yeah get the basic idea the basic idea of this tutorial was to give you some ideas on creating some new logos I still think this Go Green logo looks the best. The G, it looks perfect for this design. Now I started with a G, and then I go went up to F, S, and even tried an M. And I tried an N. You can make an N look like a mirror image, like you want. Let's just try it once. So, okay. So let's just try that once. Type an N. Never tried an N before. So let's just try once here. And you can have real fun doing this because I just frankly did it for hours. There are like 26 alphabets, so you can have as much fun as you want. And now what I'm gonna do is let's invert this. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's just invert this the other way around. And this time, if you hold on Shift, you're gonna, you know, uh, change it. So let's just hold on Shift so that we have to do it this time, this way. And approximately, I'm gonna make it the exact width of that. And then you can have a mirror going down here, so we can have like nothing. And let's just have a simple word here, nothing normal. Okay. We can have nothing normal here. Just think of these abnormal phase phrases at the moment looks pretty really good so you probably can't read it at the first glance so better just keep it the simple way this way now if, it, if this is a you know a simple word you can always make it a mirror image and it's just really cool there so we can just change out the colors here again um just stick with a super bright actually so with an orange here and a greenish color maybe and it's like that, and we have an orange here. Okay, that's pretty cool. And what you can do is add a line here. And actually, you can do this in Photoshop so you can add a um, path. This actually pass on the line. So you can do that in Photoshop to make a mirror and make some drop shadow so it looks like a mirror. 
and this one looks really cool there. So we have four logos here. We have a Go Green logo, we have a Furiously Fast logo, we have a Something Sick logo, and we have a Nothing Normal logo. So you can have really fun as I said before. So go ahead and have some fun. If you make some logos, go ahead and mail me the links. I'll be more than happy to look at them. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.